An officer-involved shooting in Ontario ends with a suspect dead. It happened at a gas station on Ontario Mills Parkway near Millican Avenue just before 11 p.m. CBS 2's Lauren Posen is live with the latest on the investigation. Lauren. Well, Marcy, right now investigators are not only going through body camera footage, but security camera footage here from the mobile gas station. Now, I counted about a handful of these white cameras here underneath the gas pumps. So there's these cameras here, but also, most importantly, are these cameras right at the front of the store. Crime scene tape and dozens of Ontario police look for evidence at this mobile gas station Friday morning at the intersection of Ontario Mills Parkway and Milken Avenue. Around 10.45 the night before, police say they got a call that a man was threatening customers with a knife and demanding money. Then a couple minutes, a police officer got to the gas station and saw the suspect outside. He contacted the male. The male charged the officer with a weapon in his hands resulting in an officer-involved shooting. The officer that fired his gun wasn't hurt, but police say the suspect died. They're describing the weapon he had as a metal object, not a knife. The initial call, he was from the, the 911 calls of the male holding a knife. Um, when we arrived on scene, he was holding a different weapon when we arrived on scene. This officer-involved shooting comes after a string of robberies and shootings at 7-Eleven stores, including one in Ontario. But police say this one is not related. As investigators comb through security and body camera footage, they're also trying to figure out who the man is and where he's from. A shopping cart filled with belongings was found near the gas station, and investigators are checking the video to see if it shows the man with it. Now, police are not yet classifying this as a robbery because they're not sure if the man got away with anything. That's another reason why they're looking at the security camera footage. I also asked police if we're seeing more of these situations because of the state of the economy, and they said, well, that is not the case here in Ontario. Reporting live in Ontario, Lauren Posen, CBS2 News.